Ever wondered how much time people spend online every day? Studies say the average person now spends over six hours a day on the internet. That's a quarter of life spent in a browser. Two new players, Comet from Perplexity AI and Atlas from OpenAI, want to make those hours smarter with built-in AI assistance. Let's see what makes them different and which one might actually be worth switching to. What are they? Two new browsers are catching everyone's attention in 2025. Comet by Perplexity AI and Atlas by OpenAI. Both are built on the Chromium framework, so anyone familiar with Chrome will instantly feel at home. Comet stands out for its built-in smart assistant that helps users summarize long articles, automate daily browsing tasks, and stay focused online without jumping through multiple tabs. It started as an exclusive tool for a limited group of users, but later became free and widely available, which made it skyrocket in popularity among students and professionals alike. Atlas, on the other hand, is OpenAI's big move into the browser space. Also powered by Chromium, it takes everything people love about ChatGPT and places it directly inside a browser. This means a person can ask questions, get summaries, and use AI tools while surfing the web, all in one place. It's currently available on Mac OS, with versions for Windows, iOS, and Android coming soon. Both browsers want to redefine how people interact with the internet, not just by displaying pages, but by understanding what users are trying to do. The main difference between Comet and Atlas lies in how deeply they embed AI into browsing. Comet acts like a built-in assistant, watching your tabs, summarizing pages, and automating multi-step workflows such as comparisons or research. Atlas, on the other hand, uses a chat GPT sidebar for real-time conversations and page insights, making it more interactive but less autonomous. Comet feels faster and more proactive, while Atlas is cautious with its agent mode, asking before acting. In search, Comet prioritizes citations and transparency, whereas Atlas focuses on smooth conversational answers. Comet is free and cross-platform, while Atlas remains macOS only with premium features tied to paid ChatGPT plans. Privacy matters a lot when a browser is powered by AI, and both companies have taken different paths. Comet uses strong privacy filters and blocks ads and trackers by default, but since it automates actions online, experts have raised concerns about possible security loopholes. A recent study even mentioned something called prompt injection, where hidden text on a website could trick the browser's assistant into doing something unintended. On the bright side, Comet is still improving and releasing security patches quickly. Atlas, in comparison, puts more control in the hands of users. It comes with a memory system, which remembers the context of websites visited for up to 30 days, helping the AI recall what was done before. However, this memory can be turned off or deleted anytime, giving users full control. OpenAI has also said that browsing data from Atlas isn't used to train AI models, which is reassuring for those who care about data privacy. Still, the idea of a browser remembering past pages can make some people cautious. Both browsers are walking a thin line between personalization and privacy, trying to offer smarter experiences without crossing into creepy territory. Every tool has its strong and weak points, and both Comet and Atlas show that clearly. Comet shines when it comes to productivity. It can manage multiple tabs, summarize research papers, or even extract details from long articles in seconds. Users who want speed and automation love how it just gets things done without too much input. Plus, the fact that it's completely free makes it a big win for students, writers, and anyone curious to try AI browsing. On the downside, Comet's ambition sometimes causes bugs and reliability issues. Some early users mentioned that it's super helpful but still rough around the edges. The mobile version is also still under development, so for now, it's mostly desktop-focused. Atlas, meanwhile, wins in polish and familiarity. Powered by ChatGPT, Atlas feels instantly familiar and intuitive, blending conversation with browsing. However, its macOS-only access and limited visibility of real source links can frustrate users who value transparency. Overall, Comet suits power users, while Atlas appeals to those who prefer simplicity and seamless AI guidance. Which should you pick? Choosing between these two depends mostly on personal needs. 
Someone who spends hours researching, juggling multiple tabs, and collecting information from various sources will probably benefit more from Comet. It feels like an extra pair of hands helping out with research and repetitive tasks. Those who prefer a clean, conversational experience might find Atlas more appealing, especially if they already use ChatGPT daily. Atlas focuses more on interaction than automation, giving a smoother feel for simple tasks like writing emails, summarizing articles, or generating responses. The catch is that Comet is free and cross-platform, while Atlas is Mac OS exclusive and partially paid. Both are still new, meaning updates will keep changing their performance and stability. The smart choice might be to try both for a week, see which one fits better with daily routines, and decide which AI approach, fast automation or thoughtful conversation, feels right. There's no better way to understand these browsers than by seeing how they fit real life. Picture a student or researcher working on a project with 20 tabs open. Comet helps by automatically summarizing each tab and comparing data across sites, making research faster and less overwhelming. Atlas can help too, but it usually focuses on answering questions about one page at a time, which is great for small-scale learning rather than deep research. Now think of a busy professional, maybe a marketer or entrepreneur, who drafts emails, plans tasks, and checks websites daily. Atlas fits nicely here, since its CHATGPT sidebar can write quick messages, summarize news, and even plan schedules without leaving the browser. But if that person switches between devices or uses Windows, Comet wins for flexibility. Finally, for privacy-conscious users, Atlas offers clearer settings. Its browser memories can be deleted and data stays encrypted. Comet, while powerful, has faced a few security flags, so cautious users might wait for further updates. Both have strengths depending on what a person values more, efficiency, creativity, or security. Both Comet and Atlas are still in their early stages, meaning there's huge potential for growth. Comet plans to launch fully mobile-friendly versions for Android and iOS while improving performance and stability across platforms. It's also expanding features like AI-driven tab management, context-aware summaries, and offline assistance. Meanwhile, Atlas is preparing to expand beyond Mac OS, refine its agent mode, and deepen its integration with ChatGPT memory tools. Both browsers are focusing heavily on speed, reliability, and seamless AI interaction. Keep an eye on future updates around privacy controls, plug-in ecosystems, and cross-device sync. These will define their long-term success. Comet and Atlas mark a new era of AI-assisted browsing, where your browser helps you think, summarize, and act, not just surf. Comet suits those seeking powerful, free automation and research tools, while Atlas fits users who want a polished, ChatGPT-powered experience on Mac OS. Both are evolving fast, so the real question is, are you ready to switch now, or will you wait until these AI browsers fully mature? We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.